Hello everybody and I'm going to show you how to make this rainbow loom bracelet. It's just an ordinary, I'd say it's a beginner's bracelet because it's a chain and it's really easy to make. So right, I'm going to show you how to make it. You're going to need some bands like these and if you want to do it in a pattern you can get other ones as well so right so you're going to need this one you're going to make it twisted onto the other one you can see it's twisted then pick your other colour and put it on like this just over the top, no twist and bring the bottom one over them both bring it over them both and you'll get a little like start of it you just need to carry the pattern on but no twist so there's not going to be any twist in anymore and basically you just carry on until it depends how big your wrist is you're not going to need a lot of bands but you're just going to need quite a few if you're going in a pattern like me I'm going in white and orange you're just going to need to carry it on, like as you can see, it's coming out pretty nice colours. Right, just carry on until you want it as big as your bracelet. So, I'm just going to do this really quick. So, yeah, I know why. Alright. Just carry on doing it I can't grab it okay I'm just doing it until mine's big enough they do stretch so then you could have like a little small bracelet and then it'll come out you, it'll fit around your wrist later oops that was a problem <laughs> so Mine's coming out like this. Let's get my other colour. Carry on going. Let's get my other colour. That's going to be white. Now let's put the orange over it. Over again. So mine's like this at the moment. Now I need to get my other colour, it just depends what colours you're using and then you just keep on doing what you did with the first chain but if you're doing it in different colours just do it in each colour if you're doing it in three colours you're going to do the bottom one and then um, add your other colour on so then you're doing it in twos you're just doing it all in twos that's what you do it in. Um, I just get my other one and that one just went flying over where it wasn't supposed to go. Bring, pull that down. Mine's becoming pretty good now. Let's get my next orange. Oh, sorry, was in the camera then. And I get a white. Bring that one over as well. So, you, like I said, you're just doing the same as you did with the first chain. Just carry on until it fits your wrist. So I'm gonna do this pretty, this quicker now. If you want to um, get more wrists, more bands, sorry, um, 
If you want to make more and buy some more, some in the market um, in town in Market Harbour. So, if you want to check, go in there. There's like there's a packet of these kind of bands. They're like polka dot bands. Like they're in these colours. They're like all different kinds. Um I'm gonna be using them on my next one. Alright. If you want this might be big enough for your wrist if it's just like yours. Um but it's not big enough for mine at the moment. So you just carry on the pattern until it fits. So right, you get this one just here. Put that over, put it down so then it stretches it a bit so then you get the chain on it. So it's not all in together. If you want to make them really big one like um so big you could like if you go across like your room and you just do it like this instead of like fishtail and inverted fishtail because it takes more bands this it makes it bigger while using less bands so I think this is big enough for my wrist because they stretch. Nope. So I just carry on doing more. And I just bring it over and down in here. You just pull it to make it a little bit um, bigger. Just so you, then the bands work. You can also do this on a loom, um, but it takes a lot longer. Right, so I pulled it. Now this, I say, is big enough for my wrist because they stretch. So I get your S clip, like what I've got just here, S clip or a C clip. Doesn't matter what. Now. You get the end of the one, the first chain you did, and hook it in this. So then you just hook both, so both and um, band bits. They're one band, but then it's like folded, and you hook it into the S clip. And then over here. There's two ways of doing it. You could take out this last one, because that's what I do, or just fold it over this last one and then clip it. But I take it out because it's just a lot easier for me. So then, do you know? Remember the that you did over here with the S clip. You don't want to like unfold it. So then it's like you don't really want to make it not when you turn it when you bring it to the other band on the other side you don't want to twist the bracelet in the middle of it while doing that it is pretty fiddly when you're trying to put this in No, mine's falling apart. No, I've got it back. <laughs> it takes quite a bit to do it. You like I'll grab the back bit and then like push it down into it, but it's not working. There we go. So now, as you can see. I've got them clipped with an S clip. But 
some odd reason they're both whites because I took an orange out. But then like here's my bracelet. As you can tell it really stretches. And then you just pull it on your wrist. Like that. So that's it for this and see you next time in the next one episode. Not episode but next band tutorial. This is making the easiest one. Next one's fishtail. And then it's inverted. And then I'll do like stuff with the actual loom. So, see you in the next one. Bye.